Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a new Christmas mug. I got it for Christmas for my lovely cousin. I love her. Um, I have an after Christmas clearance haul from TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Home Goods mostly. Mm, mm, mm. I did go to Target after Christmas shopping. And they didn't really have much. I got a couple boxes of the boys' treats. I get the after Christmas box, the Christmas boxes. They're half price. My kids don't care. My kids, I don't have kids. My my cats don't care. Anyway, I went after Christmas shopping at, as I said. So let's start. I got some of these coffee cups. They do say merry and bright on them, but I don't feel like that's overly Christmassy. I got them for my office. There's 12 cups here and lids and the little wraps to put at the coffee station. And they were regularly $3.99. Actually, they were regularly $4.99 marked to $3.99. And I got them for $2. So I didn't think that was bad. Just to put on my coffee station when I go back to work next week. We'll just pull these bags up. Really what I went for was I saw a lot of um, Christmas decor or wrapping paper and stuff that I really liked, but I didn't want to spend full price and I had already bought wrapping paper for this year. So I stocked up for next year. So what I would, I always pick a color scheme and I have very little left for this year. So I'll get rid of that. I donate it. And then next year I'm going to do a new color scheme because I just, it's fun. So, I grabbed some of this tissue. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. Pink and mint, I love together. And the greens. This is um, cupcakes and cashmere at home. And it's uh, 50 sheets of just pretty gold and silver. And all the little like pastelis. So, I went with this color. My scheme next year is going to be pink with gold and silver. And then if I find some of that mint green, we'll use that. And then some of this stuff is not for decorating, but this is, so this maybe this, I'm going to leave this out. These things are great for finishing my cross stitches, especially my ornaments. And this is just some rickrack with some silver metallic on it. And then when I'm done with the rickrack, these wooden spools will be great to decorate with. So this was, let me see, regularly $5.99, so I paid $3 for it, which I didn't think was terrible. And you get 10 yards, which is a lot. Now I have one of these and I grabbed another. This is just burlap. And then you have your wooden stand. I will tell you if I find another one, I'm gonna grab it. This wooden stand, you could put your yarn on here when you're knitting or crocheting and it'll keep it from rolling all over the house. Um, I have two, another one. I use a lot of this twine. Uh, you get 175 yards. It was regularly $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for this. But I like to put this on my desk, on my craft desk when I'm working. And I have, and you'll see, I have other colors to use. This is um, green and red. See, there's a little red sparkle in there. But I love wrapping presents with this. And then I grabbed some of this satin ribbon. And it's just pretty. This is not for Christmas. I'm taking the pin out. It's just pretty ribbon, but you could also ruche it or whatever. This is definitely for a cross stitch finish. Um, so I grabbed that for finishing because you need ribbon and stuff. Uh, you get on here 10 yards and it was $7, so $3.50. And again, the wooden spools. These are all Martha Stewart collection, if that means anything to you. I really enjoy them. And I enjoy... So my family this year, we were doing like less packages, less spending, but wrapping them all pretty. And I loved it. It was so fun. So I did that. Everything is kind of in no particular order. Oh, I got that at Marshall's. All that stuff was Marshalls. This is my TJ Maxx stuff. Um, well, these are not. These just need to be put with my Christmas stuff. Um, so I'm going with that gold theme. And I grabbed these gift tags. 
Wow, you get a package in here. Let's open this. We have time, right? We have time. I don't think I will have a Dollar Tree haul this week um, because they're kind of in the process of clearing out Christmas. So there really wasn't much in my store. But I'm hoping this weekend that they will have more. So let's see here. This was $4.99, so $2.50. It comes in a cute little tin, but what I am excited for, let me get this in the trash. Um, we have all of these like tags, but they have the gold, which will match my decor. You only get a few of these, but that's okay. But you also get a whole stack of the stickers, which again, perfect for packaging. I think that's it, yes. So these are my labels for next year, which this is a perfect amount for me. Um, but I just love that, that they matched. And like I said, this was $2.50. So all this will get wrapped up into a box this year, and then next year I will pull it out and wrap the presents. Okay. Um, also, I picked up for Luna for next year. She loves these little crinkly toys. It's a little Santa. Oh my God, it was so cute. And this was regularly $3, so I got it for $1.50. It'll just go in her stocking. I'll put that away with the Christmas stuff. I love buying pet stuff after the holiday. They don't care. Um, I grabbed this notepad because I thought it was funny. Just says, Dear Santa, define good. This was regularly $3, so I got it for $1.50, which is like 25 cents more than the Dollar Tree, and it is um, Ray Dunn, and you get 70 sheets. I just thought it was cute. Again, this will go with my Christmas stationery. Then I grabbed this, which totally goes with my theme this year. So it's just cream ribbon with gold. This was $4.99, so $2.50, and you got 10 yards. So I will be able to wrap some fun presents next year. Plus, I have other ribbon. Oh, this I got to go with my gift wrapping. Oh, my God. Um, this is a bigger, thicker twine. Um, if it, it's Aspen brand. You get 60 yards. It was regularly $7, so I got it for $3.50. But you get, and this will slide while I'm wrapping my presents, I can take the green one off and slide this one right on. I think that's so fun. Um, different brand, same concept, but this is nice and thick, and I think this will be super fun to wrap presents, especially since it goes with my theme, right? Right. I also have some ribbon left from this year that I can utilize. Um, I got this probably, I, I could wrap presents with it, and I might. This was $4.99. And so it was half price, 250, 10 yards, but it also would be fun to finish some, I'm trying to unhook it here, to finish some cute ornaments. Because this stuff works good. It can bend around corners better than flat, you know, flat ribbon can. So this stuff here that I think I could finish some cross, Christmas cross stitching with, this stuff will stay out. But then next Christmas, I will wrap with it. This stuff here definitely will go away in my gift wrapping station or bag downstairs. I just need to clean it out and kind of purge a bunch of old stuff that I don't need anymore. And I have a lot of like older stuff that I don't really need. Um, yeah. I'm coming back over here. I guess I, let me show you the gift wrap that I purchased. And this hopefully should be enough for next year. So I grabbed this one, which is the brand is Clementine. This was $2. And it's the pink, white, and gold. All right, isn't that so pretty? So I grabbed this roll of this and there's uh, 12 feet. This should be enough for me for next year. And then I got this one, which the brand is Rochelle Zone or Rachel Zone, Los Angeles. This was $2. And this is like a silver and pink. I love that. And then, oh, and that has 
uh, oh, it's 30% wrapped in recycled plastic. And this is 30 square feet, two and a half foot by four yards. So you get four yards of that. And then this is a uh, Christian Serrano three pack. Each of them is, huh? I don't know if it's four yards or total or whatever, but you get the pink and gold and then two gold. So I think I have six rolls, three pink or five rolls, three pinks and two gold. And I think that will be luscious. Oh my God, I love it. This was $12.99 for the three rolls, but I only paid, what, $6.50? So again, two roll, two dollars a roll. Not terrible. So that's kind of was my basis for what I wanted. Now, ooh, this is Marshall's. And I grabbed, we're gonna open this in a second. Mm, mm, mm. But there's a couple of things in here, I believe. Yes, okay. Just everything, yeah. So at the mar this Marshalls, I found some more ribbon, but this is in this beautiful teal color. And again, I got this thinking that I could use it for some finishing for cross stitch or really any craft. So this will stay out. This is not for Christmas. Also, Martha Stewart, also 10 yards. Now, this was three dollars. I don't know how much it regularly was, probably $6.99. If I had to guess, um, she put a sticker, they put a sticker over the price, but this was $3, but I love it. Isn't that the best color ever? It's so, so saturated. And then for me, uh, for $2, I hope this is a good one. It's a turban hair wrap and I love them for my hair when I get out of the shower. Um, it's better for your hair than towels. You shouldn't like rub your hair on towels. It can split your ends. But I just put it in here and I just wrap my hair up in it and it absorbs the moisture and then I take it off and my hair is partially dry. So yeah, this is a decent sized one. My issue is I think I have a big head. Oh, but I like that it has the elastic on the end. So yeah, this was $2, just a, a hair turban. I use them all the time. It is that microfiber material that feels funny on your hands. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this. Uh, everybody thinks it's a teddy bear. It's not a teddy bear. This is a Heavy's cuddly toy with microwavable ceramic beads. So, I, I've hit the age of the menopause, right? I mean, that's where I'm at in life. Pre-menopause, actually. However, I'm trying to get it out of here without like destroying it. I still seem to get symptoms monthly. Plus, I get sinus headaches. And this was $20 regularly, but I paid $10 for it. And I saw them pre-Christmas. The smaller ones are like $7. Here's what's fun about this. In the back, you open it up. And this is a bag of ceramic beads. You put this in the microwave and it gets super hot, right? And then you stick it in here in the back of this and then you just hug on it and it may, it's like a heating pad. Um, obviously, this would be great if you had little kids that maybe are, you know, not feeling well. You want to give somebody a warm hug and this is real floppy and soft. So it, it's like malleable. So if you want to put it like, you know, like for me on my stomach or if I have a headache, I could like lay my head on it. I just think it's fantastic. And it's a sloth. I know. And it hugs you back. <laughs> so I grabbed that for $10. Let's do our selfie or our thumbnail. Because he's cute. We got to come up with a name for him. Um, Probably I will lose it to my cats at some point but we're gonna pretend like we're not then i went to home goods and i just got a couple things at home goods this actually is not clearance this was full price but it is it's a 16 drawer 
this um, organizer piece. I'm using it for my fancy floss for cross stitch. I bought two of them. I'm going to put alphabet tie. So floss for cross stitch DMC. And I think I have some right over here or I did. I don't know. Oh, here it is. DMC comes in a spool like this and they're numbered. So if you get a pattern and there's a number on it and it says DMC, you go to the store and you buy the colors that correspond with that number. Perfect. So I have a whole storage system set up with all my floss by number. Fancy floss or floss that's dyed by a person is named typically. There's no, I mean, some of them have numbers, but the ones I buy have names. And so I was trying to come up with a system and I think this is where I'm going to land. So alphabetize, so A through whatever, the first 16 letters of the alphabet, the last 10 letters of the alphabet, and then six drawers for like some silks and some other like sparkly floss and stuff. So I grabbed this to do some organizing. I've already put the first half in, but I wanted to show you this. Um, $16.99, they had bigger ones, smaller ones. I wanted this size and I like that it's clear acrylic so I can see the colors. And the drawers pull all the way out and I like it better. I know I could go to the hardware store and get one for tools and screws, but they don't look as good and the drawers are not as wide. I needed a wider drawer because my floss, fancy floss comes on a business card. I need some coffee. And then the last thing I picked up there were these. What are these exactly? I'm not 100% sure. Um, it says, but it matched, it matched. <laughs> Baked treat wraps. Oh, um, emballage pour gâterie cuite au four. That was my attempt at French. Don't laugh at me. 30 parchment sheets. It's printed parchment paper that you can wrap treats in. And it has some stickers. We'll open one package. I got two. Um, I do bake goods. So I think if you wanted to bake for your friends or family, you would, okay, so there's stickers on the front, and then these are sheets of parchment paper with the little toy soldiers on them, and what you would do is wrap your baked good in a sheet of parchment and seal it with a sticker and give it to your friends and family, and it keeps everything nice and fresh, and I think that is fantastic. Again, going with the quality over quantity. I can make a, pa a package or, you know, cutouts of gingerbread cookies, frost them pretty, and wrap each individual and gift them. So you get 30 sheets in each. So I have 60 sheets in total, and they were $2 a piece. Obviously, if I want to wrap ornaments in here, like if I cross stitch, I can use a piece of parchment to put an ornament or anything I would like. It doesn't have to be food. It's not waxed paper. It just says multi, oh, multi-use grease resistant parchment sheets are food safe, BPA free, and can be used to bake or wrap holiday treats. Parchment sheets are oven safe. So it's just parchment paper. You can use it for anything. It's not waxed paper, which you want to be cautious of. If you don't know, you don't bake in waxed paper. It, the, the wax will melt onto your food. These are my cookie cutters I bought at Hobby Lobby. And I use them to cut cheese, like this little Santa. I cut little one, these little cutouts of cheese from my charcuterie board for Christmas. So that, besides the cat treats, is everything I purchased after Christmas, the day after Christmas and yesterday. So the two days after Christmas at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. Um, so I'm pretty excited that I have a good start. All I would like to find next year is maybe some silver bows or ribbons, but uh, that's easy enough to find. I just wanted to get the pink this year because I love it. So I hope you enjoyed my after Christmas haul. Let me know in the comments or on our Facebook group if you wanna see a video of what I got for Christmas before I put it all away. All right, talk to you later, bye. Okay, wait, <laughs> I can't get it, stop it, I cannot. Oh, Nona has to go potty in her boots. Go potty, come on. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Go potty, please. I know.
No, it's cold. I don't want to. I'm not saving your girlfriend. 